hello everyone i welcome you all to my channel day trader david i hope you all are doing good and uh, today it was a good day good day as in uh, in this video i'm trying to uh, convey a small message so yeah, about in this video most probably we are going to talk about trading plan so we will see what is trade plan and uh, why is it important as a trader to make a trade plan before you enter the market okay so before that uh, if you are someone who is watching this video for first time and you have visited our channel for the first time then definitely you can go through our channel and uh, we have made a lot of uh, learning contents over here it might help you out and also you can uh, subscribe to our channel for not missing any of the updates okay so without wasting time let's begin about the topic of this video which is trade plan so what is a trade plan so as a trader uh, i we see a lot of people or a lot of traders trade without any plan okay so whenever they open up their uh, trading accounts to trade in market they just punch in any orders like if they feel the price is going up they are going to buy if they feel the price is going down they are going to short the market but uh, eventually they fail in market because uh, that's not how it is done okay so the proper way is that one should have one should have means a trader should have a trade plan before he enters the market right so i usually write down my trade plans in my trading journal i maintain a journal I maintain a book where uh, before 9 am i just write down my views for the day right what bank how bank nifty can perform because i trade mostly in bank nifty so how bank nifty index may perform today how overall markets may perform today and uh, if i have any stocks in my watch list though i trade very less in stocks but still if i have any stocks in my watch list then how it may perform so that's all what that's what i watch out and that's what i note down in my book and i try to follow that according to my plan so that is the plan for me for the day okay so if today you see i just shared a message trade plan for the day so today i woke up early so i just thought i had some time in my hands so i thought why not share it with everyone so that uh, it will be useful for you also to make some plans so today my plan was i had three things in my watch list one it was lupin second it was cummings india third it is bank nifty as always bank nifty stays in my radar right because i trade every day in bank nifty so talking about lupin so what was my view for the day in lupin lupin uh, my view was if uh, lupin opens flat and breaks 1210 which is uh, 1210 then i will try to initiate some longs in lupin okay so if you check uh, first of all let's see what happened in lupin so overall this is my goodwill account and here you can see lupin i had booked a loss of 1683 let's round it off to 1700 rupees a loss of uh, 1700 in lupin but why did i book that loss that is the important part so if you see in lupin there was a triangle pattern so overall it had to give a breakout and not a breakdown as per my experience how much the high uh, understand the price but the first candle you can see uh, because first candle are much volatile and my buying actually my buying should be about one to one one should be is the right price but uh, i was watching other st uh, stocks also so i just punched in one to one zero and then uh until I, I realize the order was executed so i just thought that uh overall it has to go upside so it's fine or else i would have exited my position so i just placed a stop loss and then just waited but you can see what lupin did was it came inside the uh triangle pattern once again and it just made a wick okay let me just show you if i count yeah doodle is here so you can see this part right so this was my entry somewhere around here and it just came downside and then it made a week and then again it moved upside and then from again it gave a re-entry you can see again it gave a re-entry at uh, the same level of one two one zero 
but i didn't enter in lupin i could have entered in lupin and covered my loss with extra profits of course in lupin but i didn't do that i will explain that also why i didn't do that you can see my mtm of um, almost 5000 rupees so some people may think 5000 as per my experience it is a less amount some people may feel that but uh, let me just show you my capital my capital is only 37000 okay so this is a new trading account to me i have opened a new trading account in goodwill investment goodwill wealth uh, wealth uh, so here i am trying out few stuffs few new stuffs over here so that is why the capital is low and also i am withdrawing again and again my profits outside so i'm just trying to keep a small account for few days and um, actually i'm trying to switch from zero da to other accounts so i i didn't trade in zero da today so um, that is the reason so that doesn't even matter to you of course so what you should focus is is uh, the learning part okay so the loss over here i booked was 1700 and whatever matters is the overall mtm which is plus 5k okay so my second view was of uh, cummins india i i wrote like i would wait for a while in cummins india it would be great if it breaks the pattern downside in afternoon so the plan see i wanted this pattern to be broken in afternoon and what is the pattern that i saw in cummins india and uh, it is a triangle again a rising wedge something kind of rising wedge so it has to give a breakdown and not a breakout as per my analysis so overall but it had to give up in second half or at least tomorrow so today there is no entry in short side okay so today there could be entry in the long side but not in short side if you see so from here it can go upside and then it can fall so again my plan was i would say i would initiate shorts in cummins india if the price touches the upper trend line it would be fantastic risk reward from there upper trend line why did i say that because if price comes somewhere around here and if it falls from here okay so this is the right place to short according to my in uh, I, uh, that uh, uh, depends upon situation and market condition but um, here i would plan to uh, execute uh, my to punch in short positions at the top okay to get a good risk reward here if i say my stop loss would be not more than five points and i can capture almost 20 to 25 points from there right so that is that's why my plan was to short at the top and at the bottom we could initiate some longs as you can see i had initiated longs cummins india i exited with 163 profit i had in initiated some longs and uh, it gave me almost 700 rupees but uh, i didn't execute i just placed a trailing stop loss because uh, because that's not was that was out of the plan right so um, that was about the stocks and talking about uh, bank nifty that all-time favorite bank nifty so my view in bank nifty so first of all let me just show you something in bank nifty this is uh, hourly chart and bank nifty is following a trend line okay right very clear but uh, in five minutes if you come if you see in five minutes we just broke our trend line right here if you see let me just take doodle here if you see we broke a trend line and then we came downside so what was my view for bank nifty i said bank price is following a trend line i would wait and watch but uh, trend line support looks slightly strong trend line support looks slightly strong why did i say that because uh, you can see previous day also there was uh, something like this okay if you can see we took a support at this we took a support with a wick okay that is a very important point whenever we take support or we resist from some point so we took a support with a wick which indicates that there is some kind of uh, buying pressure at this level okay and uh, other than that uh, that was the point so other than that what i said was i would initiate some longs if 25 260 is crossed which is a resistance is crossed on higher side in first 15 minutes and if it doesn't cross in first 15 minutes then i won't be much interested okay so in first 15 minutes if the price crosses the resistance then i would be interested to punch my long orders if not then i would be wait and watch 
and then very clear view uh, for downside and also if it breaks the trend line downside then still i won't be much interested in creating short, short positions because according to me bnf is bank nifty is strong so i was very clear that bank nifty is strong so even if bank nifty breaks the trend line downside then also i am not going to initiate any short positions in bank nifty only reason is bank nifty is strong point number one and this is not the time when bank nifty should break the uh, lower trend line okay so always remember there is a time when bank uh, when a price breaks the um, support resistance it breaks gives a breakout breakdown there is a proper time and this is not the this was not the time when it should break the trend line and it should fall so i don't know how to explain that to you all maybe in future i will make a new video how to identify that when a breakout or breakdown can happen high probability so from here i didn't see any high probability of a breakdown right so a downside when i see that there was a rejection candle at uh, the downside i just bought a call option of 35000 and i booked good profit of uh, 4300 of course if i hold it till now then um, it would be a great day of more than almost uh, 100 points plus it is running but 4000 for a day is not a less amount as per the capital that i am using my uh, mtm if you see it's like 13 to 14 percent at 13.5 uh, percent let's say for the day of return on capital okay so 13 percent is not a small amount so, up, so after that what i did was is just a small uh, scalp over here and then again a small scalp this trade was just to make my total mtm a round number of 5k so that was uh, the, those two are scalp and this was a proper trade and uh, overall I, I exited this trade at uh, 35 to 50 because it was a resistance so I again uh, noted gave that over here that uh, trade plan if you can see yeah if we see a candle closing about 32 to 50 here I see we are at a resistance if breaks then another set of rally will kick in be watchful and my view is still positive but the uh, closing should be about 32 to 25 so this was the level where i exited because there was a resistance but then again there was a set of rally so i didn't participate much i just made a small scalp out of it so almost you can see 2002k uh, of scalp so overall by this video what i am planning to uh, what i wanted to explain what i my intention behind this video is trade plan okay so always whenever you trade in market if you are a trader then always have a plan that why uh, why you enter a particular stock or in an index or anywhere why you're taking any kind of entry and where to exit if that trade doesn't go in your way right if you see i exited this trade off with 1700 i could have holded it but i didn't because stop loss matters in market what if it just broke downside and just fell another two to five percent okay so then i am going to just sit in uh, that's what everyone do, does that right? they just sit with a hope in market so don't trade with hopes because market is an expert and it loves to break hopes of traders okay so don't trade never trade with hopes never sit with a hope that this price is going upside it, it will go upside or it will go downside always trade with proper plan and uh, always note down your plans before you start your day for trading okay so that that's what i practice personally and uh, when all my plans are done i am just done with my trading day and overall you can see i am just done with uh, 5k in this account and in another account also i had made almost 5.7k there so overall it was it is a good day in on an average my average as i as you all know already i guess that my average as of now is 10 to 15k and i made 10k for the day and i'm just happy and uh, i am just closing for the day so i just thought to share this important learning with you all right so i hope this video will help you to grow in market so you can plan your day how you are going to take any trade okay if you are planning to take any sort of trade then how are you going to execute where are you going to execute and why are you going to execute so these are few questions in market that you should know 
before you take any sort of trade in market right so only if you follow such things then yeah, there is a probability you can be a profitable trader at the end and if you are someone who just think that market is too easy to make money then you are definitely wrong my friend market will kick you out of this place okay so trade with proper discipline so this is a part of discipline this is a part of learning and at the day end you after the market closes then you should review your trade plan that is also most important pa uh, part of the trading i always maintain uh, uh, two sections that what's my view for the day and the second section is learning for the day so those two things should be maintained in your trading journal so in the learning part we take away what were the learning and what was my view and how did the price uh, a pr uh, price mood as per the trading view right uh, as per the views so accordingly we trade in market so i hope uh, this uh, this was useful and if at all it was useful and you want me to cover most uh, more learning contents or uh, you want me to make such more interesting things which will help you to build your uh, trading ability then definitely uh, let us know in the comment section also hit the like button it will motivate uh, motivate us to make such more learning contents okay so i hope this video was useful so i hope to meet you all with some another learning content until then take care and thank you for watching